Good evening, I'm Paula Toti. And I'm Adam Clementson for Kyle Tonight's. PG Sittenfeld is hoping for a lifeline this evening from the judge who heard his federal corruption trial. The former Cincinnati City Council member is asking the judge to toss out his corruption convictions. And David Winner is here now with today's arguments. David. Paula, it's been five months since the jury convicted Sittenfeld of bribery and extortion, attempted extortion. He has yet to be sentenced and certainly hopes today's arguments will make that step unnecessary. Sittenfeld showed up today with an additional attorney, James Burnham, who worked for former President Donald Trump and who got the corruption conviction overturned for former Virginia Governor Bob McDonnell. P.G. Sittenfeld leaving the federal courthouse this afternoon with his wife following about two hours of arguments. The motions heard five months after a three-week trial where prosecutors convinced a jury that Sittenfeld took tens of thousands of dollars in campaign contributions for his mayoral run in exchange for shepherding yes votes on counsel for a downtown development project near the convention center. The defense argued the government needed to prove a clear and unambiguous connection between Sittenfeld's support for the proposed hotel at 435 Elm and the campaign donations from investors who turned out to be undercover agents. It contended the prosecution did not make that connection and misled the jury with evidence unrelated to the charges and that the jury therefore acted irrationally. The defense also argued the government urged the jury to consider Sittenfeld's solicitation of a donation from former Bengal Chinda Mindukwe, and the judge mentioned Mindukwe in his jury instructions, even though Sittenfeld had not been indicted for the charges related to that solicitation. The prosecution argued it only needed to prove Sittenfeld knew a bribe was being offered and did not need to explicitly say, I want that money for this vote. The prosecution also argued the court must trust juries to make the right call. Regarding Ndukwe, the prosecution argued his involvement was part of the core criminality of the case. The judge will now take those arguments under advisement. His decision could be weeks, if not months away. P.G. Sittenfeld will remain free during that time. Paula? Thank you, David. And should his conviction stand, Sittenfeld could face up to three years in prison.